Hey what's up guys, Rev here. So we all know that YouTube is the most fair and creator friendly platform that exists. And with the complications caused by the health event that I can't even mention by name because it might get the video demonetized, I'm sure you can imagine that things have changed on this platform. As the higher ups at YouTube have tried to convince us, recent events have forced them to defund staff and rely more upon bots and AI systems to review content posted on their platform. As if that wasn't the norm already. But regardless of YouTube's unsurprising admission, creators have had to adapt to some new changes forced upon them. One of these new changes relates to the monetization process. What's new is that creators have to self-evaluate their content and tell YouTube whether it's advertiser-friendly or not. Which has been primarily the case up until now, but what's new is, you have to confirm that your video doesn't violate a single guideline under their new monetization scheme. As you can assume, there's like 10 different ways YouTube can get you. You violate a single one of these guidelines, your video is demonetized. And not only will it receive like 5% as much revenue, it won't be promoted by their algorithm because it's no longer profitable for YouTube to do such. So in other words, a video falls into this trap, it's dead in the water. And as you can imagine, there's essentially infinite ways to fall into this. Whether it's cursing, sexual innuendos, controversial topics, almost anything that's not G-rated can land you into trouble. What's even worse is that YouTube has created a ranking system with these evaluations. If you properly evaluate your video ratings, you gain more trust. And you'll be given more leniency and benefits from YouTube in terms of monetization. Now you're probably wondering, what does it mean to be a trusted creator? Well, I had an idea. After this system was put into place, I correctly marked about 20 straight videos. And honestly, it seemed like this gave me a bit more leniency. However, I made a grave and completely unforgivable mistake. After being reliable for almost two months, I incorrectly labeled a video that was later demonetized. But to our surprise, I'm able to correctly identify the video that shamed my reputation. It was the Tomboy Outback vs Femboy Hooters video. Now what part of that video got me demonetized you may ask? Now what part of that video got me demonetized? I was demonetized for hateful content. Now how, you may ask yourself. I was demonetized for sharing homophobic comments that resulted from the previous Femboy Hooters video to make a quick joke about how people are so easily triggered by the concept. Well, I guess the bot systems over at YouTube were unable to understand the point I was making and made me the villain of this manga and punished me for showing hateful comments other people made. As a result, as YouTube claims, improperly evaluating one of the 30 or so videos I have made at this point, I am no longer a trusted evaluator. Now does this make a difference you ask? Yeah, apparently it does because pretty much every video I've uploaded since gets demonetized no matter what and I have to wait for it to get reviewed. As usual, every time YouTube seems like they're taking a step forward, they do so with taking more steps back. In fact, on a recent video I was given the yellow demonetization symbol, but as it turns out, the video was fully monetized with ads on it despite the label, as if it was discouraging me from going live with it. I really hate making these types of videos, but I think it's important to share this information with my viewers, not only for my own sake, to help you guys understand the struggles some other creators may be going through. I really don't know how things will play out in the near future, but we'll have to see. Now I don't want you guys to have the wrong idea, this isn't hitting me too hard. Things tend to work out in the end, but it takes a lot of unnecessary tinkering and re-uploading to make it happen. But that's enough depressing stuff for this video, I'm not stopping anytime soon, I'm gonna keep doing my thing. I appreciate all the support recently, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.